you're all really good and hope you've all had a really good week or more because it's been ages since I last vlogged, uh, maybe like a month or so. Uh, so I thought I'd just check in. <laughs> um, I have been um, kind of, I've been busy, I've been getting up to quite a bit of sewing um, but we've also, um, I mean life's crazy anyway because I, um, as you know or might know, um, I'm back at work full time and um, so juggling full time job and um, a nearly 18 month old baby uh, it has its challenges, um, so life is pretty crazy and last week or the week before um last week we had like the sickness bug from hell sweep our household well kind of sweep i mean it got me um but it didn't get my husband so and it came from otis and we're guessing from nursery so um so that that was awful uh, <laughs> So that kind of wiped us out. It was sort of a 24 hour bug, but um, I guess with these things, you sort of, you really wiped out afterwards. And um, so we've had like a week of just like, it felt like dragging ourselves through the week, but we did it. So, and I was giving myself a pat on the back for getting through that, because that was really hard. Um, but yeah, in the like evenings and stuff, I've had a little bit of time here or there to do little bits of like little snippets of sewing. Because um, obviously, I don't get loads of time. I mean, the dream would be to have like a whole day of sewing or something. Um, more on that in a minute. Uh, and um, but yeah, I don't get that unfortunately. Um, so I end up doing my sewing usually in the evenings. Um, but of course there's usually loads of other things to be doing like, I don't know, eating dinner um, and cleaning and uh, getting ready for the next day and all of that. So in between all of these things that make life just feel crazy and full on, um, I've been able to get to the sewing machine and make um, my latest make. I've made two things. Um, I'll show you both of them. So the first thing is... Um, so I'm part of a blogger team for uh, Like So Amazing and um, Sarah who runs the shop, um, she has a team of bloggers and we um, we each sort of take it in turns to um, blog makes from uh, what we've made using fabric from her shop and so it was my turn, this is my very first thing I've done for her, so um, no pressure, um, but I hope you like. So so these are uh, the Closet Case Jenny overalls. Um, so I hadn't made these um, and I kept seeing the pattern on Instagram, people making um, different versions of these and I I kept thinking, oh my goodness, I love the look, I really want to try and make them, um, but I had my reservations because I'm really pear-shaped. Um, this is normally my concern with any kind of like dungarees, is how's it going to look around my bum, hips sort of area. Um, so the pattern sort of it has a waistband and then it comes out and I just had in my head I thought oh if I make them they're gonna look lovely at the waist and then just go really far out and then drape down and make me look really big um, they don't it is an incredible pattern and I cannot stop raving about it I am gonna make a big statement I am going to say that I think the Closet Case Jenny overalls are one of my all-time favourite patterns. Um, I just feel so comfortable in them, but yet I think they look really flattering on and I just honestly think they're brilliant. They are so... it's just such a, a great pattern, clear instructions. Um, I think... I I might have screwed up the zip a little bit 
um, but it was very difficult to go too wrong using the, their instructions and following them to the line. It was they're brilliant, and I just love the finish. Um, yeah, so the fabric that I've used. Um, so yeah, as I say, this is from Like So Amazing. The um, fabric is a linen uh, viscose blend. Um, so it's really lovely and I keep seeing, uh, obviously throughout the summer, people making uh, linen clothes and I just love the look of linen. I just, I love that really natural sort of look it has to it. Um, so obviously the linen viscose, it, it, it has that lovely look of linen to it, but it also has a little bit of um, the drapiness to it as well. So it's like, um, I describe it as like the perfect mixture of having enough of a structure to the fabric, but not so much that it's too rigid. Um, it was still flattering on what I made. So I'm really super happy with the finish. The pattern is these like giant daisies all over it in this sort of monochrome look. And uh, the pattern was really difficult because I tried to pattern match some of it. In fact, I can show you the pocket. You can see where I've not got it quite spot on because um, there were slight variations in the pattern across. And because it's such a large pattern as well, it um it meant that you'd need a lot of fabric to make sure you are able to cut out each piece that you want to cut on the right piece of pattern um so i ended up torturing myself over trying to pattern match this at points and i spent ages just pouring my heart and soul into it and then you kind of reach a point where you think okay i'm not enjoying this at the minute i'm just going to get on with it so i tr i just in my head I started doing these things like the front pocket I tried quite hard on um, and other bits that I tried to pattern match were oh the back pockets um, I don't know if it's weird to show you my bum I don't know if you can see probably not but um, yeah I, I tried and I did my best and then I got to a point of okay that's my best effort let's move on with life and carry on sewing because uh, I just think when you reach that point of actually you're not enjoying that part of the process it's if anything it's actually putting you off of the hobby um, then I needed to just nip that in the bud and just carry on and get onto the bits that I really enjoyed doing because actually you know the finish the finish was still really good and um, I'm really happy with the finish um, but I also feel really positive coming out finishing made it and thinking I really enjoyed making it rather than oh my god I spent ages doing this one bit trying to match up that pattern perfectly um, so yeah I just feel more positive about it having finished it and spent the time doing it um, so yeah that's my life <laughs> a bit deep but so that's like been my sort of methodology anyway it's a little bit deep but um yeah and everything on this pattern was so great actually i've got the uh i've got the paper pattern so that is this is she um so yeah you can make it in um long cropped you can even make it in shorts you can uh actually make the trousers all shorts on their own so they're like a gazillion variations of this pattern um, but I just it's just so flattering on um, the cut is so lovely so if anyone has any reservations about making this pattern or you were in any way thinking like I was thinking like oh, I'm not sure if that will suit me please just try it because for me it's been like a revelation and I feel I feel good wearing these I feel like I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna, I feel kind of like sassy and strong and positive because uh, when you feel like you look good you kind of exude that and that's how I'm feeling with this make so like 10 out of 10 for this fantastic pattern and the fabric which was just a dream to work with so yeah that's my first make I have also 
you may have spied in the background, um, I've been working on another pattern. Um, so that's this one that's on my dressmaking dummy. And this is a Vogue 9311, um, which I've shown you before. I'll show you again, actually. Uh, it's this one. Um, so I've been making this version. Now, I can't remember where I was at with this last time I vlogged, but um, essentially I made... Um, I started making the dress. I was going to make it to wear to the races and I got really worried because we were in a heat wave at the time and I was a bit concerned about making the this dress to wear in the end because it's a maxi dress, full length sleeves and the fabric's polyester so I was thinking okay I, I might die um, through sweating to death if I make that and wear that. <laughs> uh, so I didn't in the end, but I just carried on, like in the background, just still carried on at my sort of leisurely pace of sewing it. Um, anyway, I made the bodice and yeah, I think I got as far as making the bodice and I think I'd attached the skirt and I tried it on before I put the sleeves on and I actually really loved it without the sleeves. So, um, and I also felt like if I'd have made the sleeves, especially in the same fabric, it would have been a little bit like overload of too much fabric pattern to look at. Uh, so I ended up just stopping there. I didn't put the sleeves on and I am so happy with it. Um, I'll have to show you in detail like another time because I need to take some blog photos of this. Um, but yeah, it is um, really pretty and it's got this like slit that goes right up the middle, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, um, really deep V. Uh, so when that, where that cuts down, if that was like a millimetre or two lower, it would be too low. It is just, just, it just doesn't quite reveal my bra. So, um, and it has a tie on the back. Um, which is great actually. Um, I don't know if you can see me properly, I'm like over here in the corner. Uh, yeah, so let me just turn the camera around. Yeah, so um, it's been a lovely, lovely pattern and um, not too much um, in the way of fitting because it has the tie at the back. So. I haven't had to worry about, all I've had to worry about fit wise was the V um, and the length and the height of the slit but otherwise just cinch her in, <laughs> it's been really good. Um, so yeah, I love this dress, I'm so excited to take some photos of it, um, yeah, she's a, she's a beauty. There you go. Um, I think I think you'll quite like uh, seeing that when I actually take some blog photos because it looks um, it looks amazing on like a million times better on than on there. So that um, I really took my time over. Um, she's French seamed and it's gorgeous. <laughs> so happy with that, and I love that fabric. Um, if you like that fabric and you are thinking of buying it, it was a bargain. It was four ninety nine a meter um, from So Essential, and um, it is quite sheer. So whatever you make, you will probably need to line it. That's the only thing I would say. But um, it's super drapey and floaty and feminine, and the colour is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I love that as well. So that's what I've been like working on in the sewing room and I just thought I'd sort of update you all really. Um, I've also had some like baby clothes going on um, at the same time. I really want to focus on those. Um, so yeah, but what I also wanted to tell you guys is next weekend, which is bank holiday weekend here in the UK, um, I'm going to the sewing weekender. Um, which is this really cool event organised by the Fold Line Girlies and Charlotte from English Girl at Home. And it's in Cambridge, which is 
awesome for me because I live just outside of Cambridge and a whole bunch of us dressmakers rock up there and we just have a weekend of sewing together. Um, there are various talks from sort of all sorts of people. Um, so we we sort of all have our seats and we're all going to do work on our projects and just geek out over sewing so it's going to be amazing and I'm really looking forward to seeing some of my sewing friends and making new sewing friends. Uh, so the question is what do I make at the sewing weekender because I'm going to have approximately one and a half days, all day Saturday, half a day Sunday, of dedicated sewing time and I don't normally get that amount of time all together to sew, it's going to be incredible. Um, I am a little bit concerned that I'm just going to find that I get there and I just talk and talk and talk away to people and don't actually sew and then regret not sewing. So I'm conscious of that because last year I did naff all sewing. I think I threaded my machine and I made a welt pocket which wasn't that good <laughs> and that was it. But I had a great time. So this time I just want to do a bit more sewing than that and the project I had in mind is um, uh, the Nina Lee Q dress. Um, if you guys um, have followed me before I've made a sort of a hack of this dress um, which uh, removes the buttoned up front and has um, an invisible zipper all down the back, not all down the back, just in the back and I'm thinking of making that, I've got some Damson Cute Pro coming from Like So Amazing again and I think that'll make a really beautiful dress. I've got a wedding to go to, um, like an evening do of a wedding to go to in October. So I'm kind of thinking like a, a purple dress uh, to wear to, so it's sort of going to be autumn but the party of a wedding, so sort of wedding appropriate but a little bit evening, um, autumnal. I think that'll be perfect so that's what I'm gonna go for I think uh, and I've also got some more linen viscose coming from like so amazing because I'm making me some more Jenny overalls uh, so that's that's what I'm up to at the minute and um, just sort of gradually um, sewing in the background really slowly but um, not so much that it's a stress but enough just for it to be good for the soul um, and I think that's what it's all about. I have had moments where I've felt really pressured to get on with sewing because I don't know, it just comes from within. It's stupid, but um, yeah, I want to just make sure I, I have to have a, the right balance and um, I've got so many things on my shelf at the minute, lots of things fall off. So, you know, it's all about having the right balance and um, being kind to myself. And the moment, like with the pattern matching, the moment stuff feels too much stressful and not good, then uh, no, not doing that. Um, so yeah, just being kind of really mindful of all these different things. Uh, so... I am hopefully going to vlog some bits for you uh, from the sewing weekender. So hopefully I'll be back really soon with a little video to show you um, all the fun that's gone on. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, my poor husband, bless him, um, he's bracing himself for a, a long weekend of um, solo parenting. Um, because Otis is a complete handful at the minute. Um, if any of you have got children and uh, you've had the uh, toddler, sort of early toddler stage, so he's coming up to 18 months, he, um, he's been walking for like two or three months, I think three months maybe, but he's still really wobbly and um, so we feel, you, you just feel like you've got to be there 100% all the time to catch him um, even though a lot of the time you might be fine you just feel like he's, any minute he's gonna just tread on a toy and fall over and bang his head and end up with egg on head um, which he has done that as well because as much as you try sometimes it does happen uh, so he's he's been a complete handful he's still quite a difficult baby um, still quite um, <laughs> I keep referring to him as the force to be reckoned with. He really is um, 
yeah, he's quite um, assertive and strong-willed. But as difficult as that is, and man, we get to the end of some days and we just want to cry on each other. He's so hard. But I'm hoping those sort of traits will stand him in good stead as he grows up um, to be quite a strong person, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, that's all really cool. Um, and the other thing we've got coming up is we're going on holiday soon. We're going to Cornwall. Um, so we're going to jump in the car and drive for a gazillion hours and head down to hopefully sunny Cornwall. So various things going on. But yeah, I'm really hopeful to film a vlog for Sewing Weekender. So hopefully you'll see some bits there. And what I'm hoping is that I'll be saying I had an ace time and I made a dress. Uh, so hopefully, we'll see anyway. Um, so thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, take care and I'll see you again really soon. Okay, bye!